So today's video, we're gonna answer the age old question that nobody's actually ever asked. Which guitar is better, the Epiphone Les Paul or the Strandberg? Let's find out. So how we're gonna do this video is I'm gonna play a rhythm and a lead on both guitars and only use the neck or bridge pickup. Both of these guitars, I can do coil splitting because I've actually done something I think is a sin in the Les Paul world. So this might be a little skewed, uh, especially for you Les Paul fans. It's Epiphone Les Paul, so it's okay. The reason why I think this is even gonna be a fair fight between the two is because I've done something really uh, wrong with my Les Paul. You can see it has Fishman classic active pickups. So that's kind of gonna level the playing ground. I mean, yeah, it's a Les Paul uh, standard. It's a cheap guitar. I think when I got it back when I was like 13, it was around 400 bucks. However, with the mods and everything done to it, I have probably around a thousand bucks. We're gonna use the neck and the bridge pickups only. We're not gonna use any of the splitting abilities. We're just gonna use those two and I'm gonna play the same exact riff and the same exact chords on each guitar and you can decide which one's better. What's gonna make this even more realistic is I haven't changed the strings on this guitar in a long time. And ever since I've owned the Strandberg, I have not even changed the strings on it. <laughs> it makes it more realistic. I haven't changed the strings on either one of these in over six months. All right, so in this next section, I'm just gonna play them one after the other. I'm gonna play a chord progression on the Les Paul, then I'm gonna play a chord progression on the Strandberg. First we'll do the neck, then we'll do the bridge. All right, let's get it. All right, next, I'm gonna do the same thing. Uh, a little lead lick, first on the neck, then on the bridge, one after another, and let's see. And now, the Strandberg. All right, so hopefully that gives you a perspective about which one sounds like what. I didn't change any of the effects. I kept the same effect for the rhythm and the lead section. That way you kind of get a representation of exactly how it sounds without me tweaking things to make it sound a little better. I just picked one of my presets on a neural and just went with it. So let me know in the comments if you liked this video, if you if you think it was a fair video as far as comparing the two. And uh, yeah, hope to see you next time. How about that? That's a thumbnail shot. How about this? Or, oh, oh.